Hi everybody, it's Sam and Music Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week I have purchased some bits from the works. So they had some new new product in and it was right up my street. So I will show you all of this in more detail. So I picked up these wooden embellishments. So they're basically, imagine a flat back pearl, but in wood and much bigger. So that's what I'm gonna use them for and get in the packaging. So I'll put all these in my big We Are Memory Keepers bloom. And take all the packaging off. Okay, so what I plan to do with these is, like I said, use them for feet, but you can also colour them. I can put Versamark on them, sprinkle embossing powder, put glitter over them and things like that, and obviously use them as embellishments that way. But it's just one of those things that I know they're going to come in handy for something. <laughs> so I've got two packets of them, but first up they are going to be as little feet, I think. So you get 10 in a pack for a pound, so I've got, got the two packs there. And yeah, I just think they're gonna come in really handy. They could even be like a mushroom top, you know, if I'm doing a little woodland scene or something or some kind of 3D project. You never know, with all these Christmas projects that will be upon us before you know it, I'm sure they're gonna be featured. So I've got those. I always kind of grab things like that because I know there's gonna be a use for them at some point. But it was mainly these bits here that I saw. So these two, are the same and these two are the same so these are your brass locks you get three so I've got six in total and these are ring handles and again you get three in a pack so I've got six there okay and I will link all of this in the description box below but what you get you would see these on any of those kind of like wooden boxes that you can get that you can decorate yourself but that's your lock this piece goes in front and then that locks through so once they're both stuck then this will move around like so and then will lock back into place so you could use this on for example the jewelry box that i done that fairy jewelry box but i will probably because i'll probably use these with my gray board my you know thick chipboard you do get screws i could probably screw them into the chipboard but i will probably just use my hot glue so you can use that with these but if you are using the wooden boxes the one that i done for my nan you could you know use these but that already came with them but that's the kind of thing they're more kind of I guess supposed to be used for but these I've used similar before with just hot glue and they work fine so yeah you get all the screws there but whether I use those or not so I've got two lots of those and then these here are these rings so again with some hot glue I can just stick that on and it's like a little handle you imagine like a little door a, a knocker on a door you see there but the idea again that would make nice little yeah just handles but also you can stick that with hot glue onto the side of a mini album and you could have loads of dangles hanging from it as well but it could also work on the top of like a jewelry box and you could lift that up and that could be the way to lift it and also you know I could probably put a different I could probably put some brads through that rather than the screws and then have ribbon coming through and that could be another nice kind of decorative piece for a handle on a gift bag so they've got loads of uses and um, yeah, I saw them there and I thought I'll grab those. So yeah, I got uh, the two packs there. And I'm always thinking ahead. So again, I'm thinking Christmas, believe it or not. But these are natural wooden pieces. And I thought these are going to work really well when I do some projects that I have in mind. But you get two, four, six, eight, ten for a pound. I'll show you those there. And there you got all these different little pieces of wood. Okay, so again, two packs there, pound each. And then I got these. Now, I already have these ones. These are the little mini wooden fences, and I love these. I love that they are, you know, perfect, and they're these nice little small ones. But then I did see these, which are larger. They're not the best of quality. They're very, very cheap wood, and they're a little bit, I'd say, wonky. They're also upside down, because that's the flat part, so that would be the bottom. I take them out here, peel it off. Yeah, they're very, pretty flimsy, but perfect to paint and colour but that would almost stretch along the bottom of a five by seven card blank so one two three it's just over four inches but I just thought they were really good so yeah I got six there three in a pack so it's three for a pound but again with a lot of the Christmas ideas I've got coming up these kind of things are not going to last me long this is my second pack of these now so and I've got projects already to do with these ones. So once they're gone, then I'll have these ones as well. I'm probably going to end up getting some more of these because I just I take everything out of its packaging because it's much easier to store away and I like to see everything. So these will 
I mean, you can see there, they take up no room, but they can easily join up or go along the side like that. So again, if you've done any of my little she sheds or the bird box, this would work really nice with it as well. So, you know, if I see these things, I like to get them to obviously show you guys, but it's also nice to just have a few different kind of varieties. I really like that they're longer and um, yeah, but they are, they are flimsy. I think they're just gonna suck any color up like a sponge, to be honest. I think they're gonna be better painted. So I might have to kind of prime them with maybe a gesso first and then add anything to them. But yeah, I think they're really nice. Again, all of this will be linked below. So that's what I purchased from the works. Then I popped into the pound shop because they're pretty much next door to each other. And I saw this and it's the Let's Craft kind of range that they do but it's their white card and it's A4 and it's 200 GSM. Usually they just have like 80 GSM. They never really have like a good thick card stock. Now I wasn't kind of holding out for this. I thought, oh, I'll try it, see what it's like. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So it's not smooth, which is, a, you know, that's fine. It's just, I have my smooth ones, so I use those for stamping. But I just thought this is gonna be good for using for any kind of mats and layers that I wanna do in white, because I do hate cutting into my heavy cardstock, which I have done before. But this could even work for a card blank, because by the time you add your decorative papers, you could easily, you know, you can see that it does hold itself okay. Um, it's, it is smooth, but it's not smooth enough, you know, to stamp on. It seems to be quite porous, so I imagine it's going to possibly bleed any kind of colour. Let me just try one of my markers on it. This will give me an idea if it is going to really kind of bleed. Yeah, it kind of, I wouldn't colour too much on this. It's not marker friendly. But it's not bleeding that, so maybe not. I think it's actually quite good. It does. I thought it would really bleed the markers out on it, but it doesn't. It's kept that nice crisp line. But it is kind of shedding a little bit there. You can see a few little bits. So yeah, I wouldn't use it for my markers, but in terms of matting and layering and even for stamping, um, I think it's going to be fine. So yeah, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised. So I did pick up two. <laughs> I thought, oh no, I'll just get one and try it. And then I thought, well, if it is good, then I'll want to get two because I haven't seen it in there before. So I don't know, you know, whether it's just new to my store or if it is new to the pound shop. But now I've got 60 sheets for two pound. I thought that was pretty good. There's a few kind of like random fibers, kind of, I think it's just on that one but you get what you pay for. But I'm actually surprised at how nice this is for a pound because they've got the same white card stocks in, in many other you know top craft stores for a lot more than a pound. So yeah, if you've got a pound shop near you and you see this, I think it's pretty good. Certainly to have as just a, like I said, for using for your matting and layering. Um, then I received the latest issue of Papercraft Essentials. This is issue 176. Because I'm on the design team for the magazine, any magazine that I feature in, they, they send me a copy. So this is my card here. I've done the shaker card feature in this month's. So there's two of my cards in there, but I also get the free gift, which is really nice. And this one, they done the craft work cards and it was the hot air balloon. And I have a card coming up with that one. And you can buy that kit separately on the, um, the craft stash website, I believe. Again, I'll link that below. I think I've got it. Let me see if I've got it at hand. This one, so I've already used some parts of it, but this is the Flying High 8x8 collection. And I did show all of this in a previous What Did I Get? But I have a card coming up with this one, which I think you're gonna like. But yeah, you can buy this online without the magazine. But this one here, you always get so much in them. They're just brilliant. We are very lucky in the UK because we do have really good magazines. But look at all this that you get. So there is your template for your, because it's a pop-up card kit, but you can make other things with it. So that's great, that's a really handy template to have. But what I always love is not only are the papers beautiful, they're double-sided, really, really nice, but you get these, and these are big, 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 big flowers. So you've got, and they're all um, pre-die cut on nice thick card, just like the other ones there. Look at all your sentiment sheets, and you get two of those ones, but look at the size of these. 
look how big that is it's gorgeous and then you've got your lovely matching take some of these out you can start to build up some really beautiful toppers so there is a card coming with this one it may have already come up actually you may have already seen it this week i'm trying to this is pre-recorded sometimes a lot earlier than it goes out so because i usually buy most of my stuff at the weekend so i usually um well this is this is the weekend now that i'm filming this so yeah i don't know my scheduling for next week <laughs> but this is the magazine always filled with loads of inspiration but you also get love card making with this issue as well so i've got two full magazines this is issue two this is the international edition and it's literally the normal you know thickness of a normal magazine so i've got two magazines and that really nice card kit so again i will share all the links to this magazine i do i'm <laughs> i'm biased as well but i do really like papercraft essentials i used to buy it before you know i started doing some of the cards for it so one of my top ones there and then Christmas stuff can you believe it I was watching Create and Craft the other day and Crafters Companion have launched these here so you have your Merry Christmas your warm wishes your winter wishes and it's Christmas time and the reason I've grabbed these is because I do have some Christmas sentiments but I don't have a lot. And last Christmas, I used the same ones on pretty much all my projects. So this here are basically all of your card sentiments to have inside the card. You can have them on the outside. The intention is, is that you have these big ones on the front. So you've got it's Christmas time. And I like that it says it's Christmas time. I think that's a really nice one. You've got winter wishes and then you've got warm wishes. And then you've got a lovely big Merry Christmas there. I'm gonna take them out of the packaging in a minute. But then below that you have all your subtitles and these are, you can either have them underneath this on the front or inside. So let me show you this one first. You can see that better now. And they're really nice, lovely phrases and quotes and things. So you've got, so you'd have Merry Christmas. May the quiet beauty of the season bring you joy and warm memories to cherish throughout the coming year. Then you've also got wishing you warm hearts and bright memories this Christmas time, or this Christmas, sorry. And then you've got Anna Happy New Year, so you can have Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Then you've got Merry Christmas from our family to yours. Merry Christmas, wishing you and those you love all the good things in life. Eat, drink and be merry to all and to all a good night. Um, our greetings sent with festive cheer and then wishing you a never ending season of love and cheer. And that's the one thing for Christmas time, I have nice kind of card phrases for inside for throughout the year, like happy birthday ones and things, but I don't have a lot of Christmas ones in, yeah, like I said, they're just pretty standard. These ones I like because they're so different. So I've got that one there. Like I said, that's the Merry Christmas. I will link all of these to Create a Craft. I'm not sure if the deal that I got them for will be the same as what's on there now. I didn't pay, it was a, yeah, they had a special deal. So I got all of these for £17.97 and I'm not a member. So if you're any um, members of Create and Craft TV, then obviously you would have got that a little bit cheaper. And then I paid £2.99 postage. So I got it in the end, it was tw just under £21. So that works out just, well, slightly over £5 a stamp set, which I thought was really good considering how big these are. And um, for me, this is timeless now. I won't buy any more. I will keep these now for a <laughs> fair few years until I'm bored of them again. But I think most of these sentiments are things that are, you use them all the time, you know. So you've got warm wishes. Oh, you've got to you there as well. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Wishing you all the joys of the season and all the best in the coming year. And I like that you have all these different fonts mixed in. Have a fun and festive time this Christmas, my dear friend. This is nice. May your celebrations be merry, your heart be light, your Christmas happy and your season bright. At the close of another year, we gratefully pause to wish you a warm and happy Christmas. And then you've got may the true spirit of Christmas shine in your heart this season to spread a little Christmas cheer and then at Christmas and always. So that's a really nice one. And then, and then this is the winter wishes. So you've got thinking of you at Christmas, hoping your Christmas is filled with love and laughter. There's nobody like you. Wishing you a happy and healthy Christmas and new year. Thank you for your kindness and support this year. I think that's lovely. May your Christmas be filled with sweet surprises for my lovely friend this Christmas. 
a very Merry Christmas to you. And then this one, after the gifts have been opened and the tree starts to wane, when the carols have faded, may happiness remain. Like that as well. And then the last one, and this is my favourite. I love, love that. Look at that. So nice and big. It's Christmas time. And it says, I believe. It's Christmas time, the most wonderful time of the year. So they all work with this. And then you've got meet you under the mistletoe. Make the season bright. Warm wishes this season. Time to share the magic of Christmas that fills the air. A time for giving and a time for getting Christmas. A time for giving and a time for getting. Christmas is a time for forgetting and forgiving. Uh, a clause for celebration. The happiest season of all. I think that's all of them there. So you have so many to choose from and it shows you there they've got the main one on the front of the card and then inside you know you can obviously do whatever you want. But there are loads. So I think this was how they were, you can, I think you, well, you can buy them individually, but I purchased this bundle here. And like I said, £17, whatever it was. But I think it was, yeah, it would have been 15 or 16 something if you are um, a Create and Craft member. But I don't buy a lot from them. I think actually this is maybe the second thing I've brought this year, so I haven't bothered buying the membership. I might consider it, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I thought they were really good. And then I popped into my favourite charity shop, which still seems to be receiving a lot of craft product. So first of all, I picked up these Stampendous embossing powders, and this is the gemstone collection. So the colours are Tanzanite, Rubellite, Carnelian, Jade, and Sapphire. They've not been opened before, and you can just see here, and they're really fine powders. The colours are gorgeous, really, really lovely. And no, I haven't any of these colours. So you have to watch some embossing powders because they can actually go off. But these ones are all still fine. So, yeah, look at those. Aren't they gorgeous colours? So I'm going to add them to my stash because, yeah, I've got a lot of, like, silver gold, white. I've got the tacky. I've got, yeah, more, I, I don't know, I guess, like, just ones that you use all the time. They're more, I guess, specific. I wouldn't use a blue, like, every day kind of thing. So it's nice to have them. And uh, yeah, I'll be giving them a go. So that was the Stampendous. And these are still being sold, or they're similar, sorry, not these exact ones, because this is old, but for five, the £9.49 Crafters Companion had the Stampendous Vintage um, Embossing Powders. So I did check them out. So yeah, not bad price there. I got them for £1.50 and they're around £10. Then my mum's got this one here. This was 50p and this is the Tonic Studios. And this one is, I think, £9 or something. It's still on their website. So again, that was an absolute bargain. It's a, just this really nice kind of like garden ornate vase or something like that. It's got Rococo actually, sorry there, by Rococo. So it's part of that collection. But she's going to have all flowers coming out of this. It's a nice size. So yeah, that one. And then she also got this, this was 50p, and I believe it's the Catechuse Crafters Companion. Again, we looked all online at all of this. This is for, no, 3 99 this one. So she got that one for 50p. So that's my mum's. And then I picked up this, so they had the stamps by Chloe. This is Birthday Wishes. I think this is online, or was online for 4 99 and I got it for 50p. Things like this. And never go out of fashion, as I always say, but it's just got a really nice, well, you can see the font there. So... Just thought that was, yeah, really pretty. Then I picked up these. So these are a pound each. They're about 2 99 online. But this here, so it's Creative Expressions, and this is Creative Expressions, but the packaging, obviously these are older, and then this is their newer branding. But it's the, these are the 18 mil flat back bronze settings for the 18 mil dazzlers. So these here, I don't know whether I'd use it like that. This is 2012. Whereas this is 2014. But these, I will maybe put some pattern paper in there and then put some glossy accents to give it that look of like a cabochon or something. But these, they're on some foam adhesive which comes off. I think that's dried out because they are old. But look, it sits inside. So how nice will they look? It's like a, a buckle or something on the bottom of like a gift bag on the handles. So yeah, you'll see them get used. And then those ones there are the 25 mil. They're really, they've got a lovely sparkle to them. It's almost like a bit platinum. So yeah, I thought they were good. And then this is the winner for me. So those of you that know I love poppies, this, I done a little squeal. Look at this. 
<laughs> it is the Giant Poppy by Indigo Blue. It's on their website for $17.99 and I paid £1. I could not believe this. Let me just show you. It's brand new. I opened it to see, but it is literally, when I peeled that off, I mean, you could tell I was the first one to peel it off. So this is the Giant Poppy. It's A5 size. It will fit perfectly in my stamp positioner. It's red rubber, cling melt. Look at that. Look at the detail, but it's not detailed too much so that when I add my colour to it, but that is so easy to cut out as well. And then you have, it's funny actually, because I said this to my mum, I said these here, if you added some little kind of uh, like bristles, it would look like a witch's broom. So I'm definitely going to use that in some kind of Halloween project, but they're obviously all the parts to the poppy. You've got the lovely leaves there, you've got the smaller poppy. I just, oh my God, I cannot believe I got that huge poppy image. This is going to be used on a gift bag and some other projects that I've got my eye on already. So yeah, designer is Kay Halliwell Sutton. So I do have some Indigo Blue stamps. I've got some older ones and they are beautiful. So there's that one. And then with that, there was this one here, which is on their website for £9. I think it was £8.99. This is the square peg round hole, <laughs> but it's just the background. But I thought that'd look nice just in kind of like a light colour, just to sit on the backgrounds of some of my cards. And um, you can see there, and this one was a pound. It was packed by Mandy, apparently. Again, if I pull this one off, you can see, oh no, there's no, that's just general inspiration. But yeah, really nice. Again, red rubber stamp. And then look butterfly again it's like they knew I was coming in the shop this is their dinky stamps this is the flutterby 50p again brand new this is the first time I've even opened this one but you can well you can see the detail so nice to cut out I know I've got lots of dies but I don't have a lot of butterfly maybe I do actually no not that size this is probably the largest butterfly stamp I have I think I think I need to have just like a butterfly kind of stamp and die section because at the moment all my butterflies are like categorized under animals so maybe now I need to do or well, flying animals I should do because then I can put my dragonflies in with that how oh that just couldn't like I said little squeal was coming out when I was looking through this like box of all these craft things then I picked up these and these are being sold for 349 each and these are the imagination crafts mixed media sprays this is the does it say the colour? I thought I read it somewhere before. I'm sure it said. Oh yeah, there it is. It's the light blue and then I've got the red and I've got dark brown. These are the kind of things that I use when I'm doing maybe like my scrapbooking. But also if I'm doing like more like something like the shed, the little she shed that I made or the bird box. Sometimes I'll distress them with inks like this. But I do have a nice tutorial coming up with this being used. So yeah, but they were a pound each. So considering they're three fifty, I think you can buy a pack of five for fourteen ninety nine, or otherwise they're three forty nine each. Something like that. Anyway, I saw briefly online. So that was a steal. And then this one here. So this is the gift box punch board. These are great. The We Are Memory Keepers punch boards. You've got the envelope. You've got the gift bag. You've got the flower. You've got the gift box, which is this one. You've got. There's a few and they've updated them a lot. It didn't have the little thing, but I have about four of these now, the little start, you know, scoring tool. But you've got the extendable arm there and you can make huge gift boxes with this one. And um, yeah, three pound. And this is 17.99, roughly 16.99 online. Some places, I think the range, they sometimes have it on offer for about 12.99. But again, three pound, that was a bargain. And very, very light usage. And you've also got the punch there, the reverse punch, which does like an in interlocking kind of closure. So that'd be handy to use just for other things as well. So although I make a lot of my gift boxes and gift bags from scratch, every now and then we all need just something quick. This is always handy. So just gives you all the instructions there. And there's heaps of YouTube tutorials showing you how to make this. But yeah, my charity shop, it's just a little hidden gem. I love it. And um at the moment, like I said, I think we're going through a bit of a phase. I think either someone's having a big clear out because they slowly keep adding to it. And we did ask the lady there, she was ever so kind. And we just said, you haven't got any more out the back that you haven't put out yet. And um, she went and had a little look, but she said, no, that's it for the minute. So we pop back, we go in there about once a week. So, um, and we've, we've 
yeah we've kind of hit the jackpot lately so <laughs> okay so that's everything this week i'll share all the links that i can find in the description box below pop in the comments if you've got any of this if you too purchase these as well because i know they're new and yeah until next time thanks for watching give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye